Hey guys! So today you and I are going to talk about not getting any time. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, what if you're not given time or approval of to improve the code? Most businesses appear to see any kind of maintenance as a waste of time. Well, uh, so the way that I look at this is that I will argue to you that this is potentially the biggest miscommunication area in maybe not in history but at least the biggest one that I have ever seen and I'm not gonna say that it's probably just in terms of our like our area because I think this might happen in other industries as well I've just never seen something so tangible as this let me explain a little bit because it sounds very dramatic now of course so what I argue to you is that the reason why your boss might say something like no we don't have time for that or like we have to move quickly etc 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 and the fact that you feel like that's unreasonable because you need your tests and so forth and so forth is because you fundamentally have two different perspectives on what you are communicating when you're talking about maintenance and testability and things like that and refactors of course so let me break it down I argue to you that no company, no customer, or no boss have, they have never ever stated, we are fine with that our system does not work. That's okay. Never. The reason why they've never said that out loud is because it is assumed that their software is going to work. Just as you, when you go to a store, you assume that the product that you buy will work and you assume that for some reason if it doesn't work then you can trade it in and get a new one or something like that because the contract between you as the customer and the retailer or whoever you're buying it from right should be based on the idea that they sold you something that you can actually use that fulfills your needs now what software developers have done and I argue that this is the root of it all is that you have taken the position that when you say we need to write some tests or you basically ask should we write tests should we um, uh, do quality assurance or any type of uh, automated testing or anything like that what has happened is that you are basically communicating to your stakeholder that okay so the software developer just wants to be extra careful this is not strictly necessary and in some cases they are right. That assumption is right that sometimes you don't actually re need to write any tests. But what I'm saying is that what your stakeholder is hearing is there is an optional thing that I can pick here and tell my developer to be extra careful and that's good because then we're extra sure that everything is working. What they're not hearing is if you don't do this the system will never work and this is the miscommunication because when you are asking your your stakeholder and this is the uh, this is on the other side of the spectrum as well i've had this conversation with uh, let's just say some fairly senior experiences and what they did in this case was that they were working on a large scale system had worked on it for quite some time it was a proof of concept type of thing right and they basically done this like um, they didn't read, uh, write any tests and the system basically never worked for like whatever you wanted to do with it it virtually did not work and so I asked them how was your reasoning behind not writing any tests because everything is broken all the time we can basically not use the system and they immediately hold up their hands and go into defensive mode and say uh, but testing was never in scope it was never required of us and so I turned to them and I said, yeah, I can completely understand that, you know, that testing wasn't like a hard requirement, but surely as a software developer of like 20 years, like they, we were talking about super senior software developers here, surely as a software developer of some experience, you would understand that some features need testing because it's very unlikely that you will ever get it right without some type of validation. 
and some features are not so important or may not you know you might not need to write tests because you're pretty sure that it's going to work but what we're seeing is that there are no tests for anything in this case we're talking about security measures basically i asked the the developers have you checked that the access control is working on the system and they said no so I said to them, so what you're telling me is that the production application that is out there in production right now, you don't actually know if some hacker or something like that can just dive right in and like basically steal all of our company secrets. That was a very awkward conversation. And this is what followed. Basically, I said to them, I am telling you that there's no product owner. In this case, I was the technical product manager. No product owner will ever tell you that you know what the system has to work because it is assumed that it will work so when you see because the developers who are in my opinion this is just either ignorance or stupidity call it whatever you want this is the thing that the software developer did in this case the thought software developer thought about this as an all or nothing type of deal and this is because you don't truly understand in my opinion at the very least why you're writing tests you are writing tests to ensure that the system is working if you do not need to write tests and the system will still work then you don't have to write any tests but if you are working on something where it might be the case it's highly likely that it's not going to work if you don't do it then you should do it if you tell your stakeholder when you have this conversation with them if you tell your boss you know I wonder do we need to write any tests what you're actually communicating is that this is wiggle room like there's a reason like it's an all or nothing deal you're basically saying either you write tests all the time or you never write any tests which is you know it's ridiculous it's literally ridiculous it's as like having a weird rule where you have to sh check your both your over your both your, your shoulders as soon as you're gonna cross the street well that's probably pretty good if you're in the middle of the city but if you're out in the motherfucking desert like why would you there's nothing here it's the or stop for every red light are you gonna stop if you're having a heart attack as well this is stupidity it's pure and it's basic stupidity in my opinion at the very least it's <laughs> I can't explain it in any other better way so if you did this instead try this when you say or rather when you feel the urge to say can we write should we write some tests just don't say it just do it and if somebody asks me asks you why is it taking so long or like if they even notice it because most of the time guys they don't even notice if you take long like they, they don't know if you're writing tests and that is the thing that's taking long or the problem is just really really complicated which is the whole thing right I've told this to so many senior developers especially in the front end where I ask them to write unit tests and they feel bad about it because they don't actually know how to do it well and they start being anxious oh it's going to take more time i'm going to take make more time and i say to them i can help you get better at this stuff but it is not my problem that you skipped a fundamental part of your education and expectations from uh, from the company in order to like to not do that i can't be held you know we can't be held responsible for the fact that you don't know something uh, well enough so which is a fundamental part of our industry well enough to deliver on time this is why i've told people all the time you can't just ignore this because if you train practice on writing tests you will actually get so fast that the overall time the extra time it takes you is like nothing it's literally nothing and it also improves your coding because if your code is really shit the testing will take even longer so just try to tell your stakeholder in this scenario if I don't write these tests I'm pretty sure the system won't won't work and I guarantee you that no sane organization stakeholder boss customer call or whatever you will will go okay that's fine skip the test because I'm fine with paying you to build me something that does not work. So what I want you to take away from this is that the situations when you don't get time for refactors or things like that, it usually comes comes back to the thing that I've always told you guys uh, over and over and over. Refactors are expensive and the, like rewrites and so forth and so forth. And what happens is that, as I said, you create legacy systems, you create issues and so forth and so forth. And you're basically inviting in that people won't let you improve things because you've already gone down so far down the rabbit hole that the cost of improving something is so high that nobody's going to let you do that. You've reached critical shit or critical mass, call it whatever you want. And the when this happens, you're, it's pretty much too late for you to do anything about it. You can't just ask for these big refactors. My guys, like my developers, ask me for that sometimes as well, and I tell them, no, 
you tell me how you're going to structure your refactoring and Boy Scouting in a way so that the system gets from a bad state to a better state over time. Because I'm not going to give you a full refactor, I'm going to ask you to create a strategy. Because all that will happen is that if they rewrite the whole system, is that they're just going to f fuck it up again. Because as I said, it's not a question. Like the software developers, you are fully responsible for the software that you are producing. And so the, to the and I actually got really annoyed with the software developers that I was talking to about this, who were defense. And I, as I said, if uh, I actually said this these terms, I said, if you went to your doctor. Do you feel that you should, as the patient, have to tell the doctor to not give you medicine that's going to kill you? I would say no. I feel like I should not have to tell my doctor that. Because some things are assumed, and it is assumed by every customer you ever have that you will produce code that is going to work. And if you need to write tests to achieve that goal, then you shouldn't even ask about it. You should just do it because it's more important that things work than anything else. I assume, unless they just want to have the source code hanging out in some repo somewhere that uh, or a server that breaks all the time. But when you communicate in this manner where it's all or nothing, you are either not understanding fully why you're writing tests or you're really shit at your communication. Have a great day.